Hello, I'm Diana Keo, Editor-in-Chief of Sherwood.com. Today we're talking to Dr. Jacqueline Kiefel, who is a pediatric neuropsychologist with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Dr. Kiefel has agreed to take questions that have come in over the internet from our members about ADHD. Dr. Kiefel, this first question was posted on our Facebook wall. This mother asks, how should I prepare my ADHD child for college? Parents need to know that they need to start planning ahead of time so that, for example, um, if that child has a history of diagnosis of ADHD, that child can receive extended times for taking the high stakes testing, such as the SAT and the ACT, but a great deal of paperwork must be completed in order to grant that child extra time for testing. So parents and the teenager needs to plan ahead with regard to what needs to happen as they start making these post high school decisions. There are numerous books on the market about the college student with ADHD and that in fact children just as they received special help and assistance modifications and accommodations in the um, elementary school years can also receive student support services such as having a note taker in the lecture hall as well as having extra time for some of the tests and the exams that he or she may have to take. Dr. Kiefel, this next question was also posted on our Facebook page. This mother asks, what if my child wants to avoid being identified as being ADHD? What do I do? This is a very difficult question because that child going off to college oftentimes wants to, you know, make the disorder disappear and not be aware that they had it all along. Um, and, and it might be for some children that it's kind of a live and learn um, type of arrangement so that, that as they begin their classroom and their lectures, they'll be learning on their own that they actually do need some of the support services to help them. Um, certain of these college age children though, some of these services can be weaned gradually as that child does recognize that they may not need everything that could be offered to them. But the college age child should know that services are available. This question was posted on our website. This person asks, I'm an adult and I think I have ADHD. Is it too late to get treatment? It's never too late to get a proper diagnosis of ADHD, even in adulthood. In fact, we know that 50 to 60 percent of, of people that display the symptoms in childhood will go on to display the same symptoms in adulthood. Essentially what someone needs to do is find, locate a psychologist that specializes in the diagnosis of ADHD in adulthood. And the process works the same way. As an adult, you would be asked questions about your memories of childhood and learning in school and your ability to pay attention and focus in the workforce. And you would also be asked to complete some questionnaires as well as perform some of the standardized testing that um, is helpful in making that final diagnosis of ADHD. And this question was posted on Twitter. How do I get my ADHD child to complete tasks without pushing him or her too hard or discouraging him or her? Um, while there's not one easy way to try to get this um, accomplished for your child, some of the um, behavioral treatments out seem to offer some assistance in terms of if the child is younger, they can help to receive some visual guidelines such as a calendar or to-do list and agenda of what needs to be done in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and a checkoff list of when these activities are performed. Children benefit from having reward system even built in so that if they do finish homework before 10 o'clock at night, that there's a certain reward that gets attached to that. Dr. Keeble, thank you so much for joining us here on ShareWake.com. This has been great information. If you'd like more on the topic of ADHD, please go to our website at www.sharewick.com.